Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery putting together another quick video on a number of beautiful Riade knives that uh, I have uh, anodized. I am very excited uh, about some upcoming things uh, that are happening for JD Cutlery. Um, I have recently partnered with and uh, become a authorized dealer for uh, Lin Loin Ma um, design knives which are also made out of the Riade factory and also have become an authorized dealer for Riade knives. Um, currently I had been uh, ordering a number of knives through a wholesaler uh, that's where I was getting all my Riade stuff um, but uh, I approached Riade and they uh, went ahead and said yes to me becoming a direct authorized dealer and we will go down that road next. So very excited about the opportunity. Uh, Riade knives definitely in my opinion are some of the best knives uh, for the money that you're going to find out there. Um, definitely fall into what I would consider a mid-tech category. Um, all of their knives are CNC machined and then everything is hand fit and finished. So very good quality knives. Really can't beat the price for the, the level of uh, expertise that they're putting into these knives. The craftsmanship is, is at a very high level. The fit and finish is fantastic, and uh, the designs that they just continue to come up with, uh, each model gets better and better. So, very excited to become an authorized dealer for Riade. Um, I will be making my first big order here in the next couple weeks. Um, just got to get some things straightened out real quick. Um, these are some that I had already ordered in and uh, done the work on. So I'm excited to have them finished, and we will just kind of jump right into the video here. Okay, so we've got three waves, uh, Horizon D full tie, Horizon D carbon fiber, and two of your uh, Fallout 2.0s. Um, the Fallouts are very nice. Uh, they are... Uh, a collaboration between uh, Rick Barrett and uh, Riade Knives. Um, very, very nice quality. Great design. Um, we'll just go ahead and hit them one by one. And of course, you know where I'm going to start. Anybody that uh, that has watched a number of my videos has probably heard me talk almost a nauseum about how much I love the Horizon line of knives. Horizon B was my very first one. Definitely a nice knife, great quality, but everyone that they've come up with since has just raised the bar. Now this one is a super bright purple. It's got a slight bit of blue hue as you touch it. You get a little bit of blue with fingerprinting. Um, pocket clips on these come in bronze and blue, so I've re-hit it so you've got dark blue and light blue. All the screws are done in blue, same with the pivot, dark blue, light blue. Nice purple handles. Um, unfortunately, the video just doesn't do the purple on these things justice. Nice blue backspacer, all titanium. Uh, as far as all of the hardware and man these things flip like no other uh, the horizon D is just a fantastic knife horizon C is basically the same frame you don't have any of the extra milling you don't have all of the inside being milled out like they've done to lighten it up you get just every little touch of class is an upgrade. The, uh, the faux uh, Timascus clips, they're not actually Timascus. Uh, I believe they're laser etched uh, to give you that feel. But, I mean, you're getting solid titanium clip. 
not just a spring clip, a nice machined out clip that holds up in your pocket nicely. I've carried these on and off since they've uh, come out. The Horizon D's are definitely my favorite out of all the Riade or Riat knives. Um, so this is the full titanium M390 steel. Just a great piece of artwork for the most part. A little bit of jumping, fits in the hand perfect. Just a nice overall knife. I really love this one. Um, we'll go ahead and jump into the Horizon D with the carbon fiber. So this is the carbon fiber version. They do mill the carbon fiber um, just like uh, they did on the other side. So you've got the sweeping cut and you've got the lines milled in. What I've done on this one is gone gold and gold. So you got the gold, two-tone gold on the uh, the disc that's helping make up the pivot and then all the hardware is also gold. It's a little bit lighter um, but it's done gold as well. Pocket clip again is that two-tone gold. Of course we threw the nice uh, matching uh, blue lanyard with the gold in it and the hardware. This is a high voltage blue. It's a little fingerprinted right now. Um, I did my own personal knife which is that uh, Damasteel Torrent that you guys have probably seen the video a little while ago on in this same high voltage blue. Um, it gets a little fingerprinty but uh, it's really a cool color. Um, again, spray a little Windex on a cloth, wipe it off, you're right back where you started at. Fit and finish on these things are just fantastic. Pretty much perfectly centered. Got your gold back spacer as well. And they just flip in with such authority. It clicks in, locks in, slams in, however you want to call it. It is just one solid piece of knife. Um, definitely one of my favorites, especially if you're looking mid-tech production type knives. Uh, for the money, you're not going to beat this knife right here. If you like a big knife, because it is, I mean, it's a big knife. I've got a large hand. It fills it up then some. Feels great in the hand. And that blade is just the perfect weight for flipping. It flips so nicely. So, this is one that I wish I could get my hands on one of the Dama Steel or Damascus blades on this one. But uh, when I contacted them, they didn't. They didn't have any of those. Um, they do have a number of new models coming out. They just released one. I can't wait to get my hands on them. Um, I do have another Fallout that I'm going to be doing very soon. Actually, not a Fallout. A future. Another future will be coming at your direction very soon. So this one again is that Fallout. I did it a nice yellow gold and hit the high points with blue and then the bolster area is gold and then I did a little bit of light sanding to hit some blue there and give it a little extra life so it wasn't just all one color in that bolster. The edges are a nice blue. All your titanium hardware has been dyed or anodized blue not dyed and then the edges of the pocket clip as well. This one is such a neat design. This, uh, the way they've milled this out is you turn it, the shades just change as you're looking at it, especially the green and purple. I really wish the purple would show up on video better. It almost goes from being shaded to bright green, then purple lines through it. It's just such a cool look. Um, the amount of machining that they've done to get that in there is just fantastic. Again, a little bit of sanding on this side to add a little blue to it. Pivots are done in blue. Backspacer is a nice blue. And then of course a blue and gold lanyard. Um, this one, you are looking at the uh, CTS 
204P steel. So it's not the M390 like a lot of them are, a lot of their other models. The blade on this thing is just crazy. You've got that, uh, the dual done blade, your nice wedge up top, pretty much a modified uh, harpoon. Um, you've got the hollow ground here, flat ground up front, makes for a very beefy blade. Um, your flipping tab's got a little bit of jimping on it. Flips nicely. The weight of the blade really, once it gets going, it just goes. I mean, you can see my hand kind of bounce a little bit. Um, it is yet again another very large knife. But for those of you that like big knives, again, fits in the hand nicely. I am definitely partial to larger knives. I don't carry anything small these days. Like I said, the Horizon D is one of my one of my favorites. I've got that Dama Steel Torrent as well, which is just a little bit smaller than the Horizon D. Very happy with these knives. Um, Riade just continues to hit them out of the park. Every every new model that I've seen come out has just been another step up. Um, on this one, they went from having the screws on the outside for your steel lock bar insert to having the screws from the back side. Again, pocket clip, no screws, makes it look a lot nicer, all screwed from the back side. So you've got to take it apart just to get the pocket clip off. But that is nice, it makes for a cleaner look, gives you a little bit better lines. I mean, you see two screws, a pivot on each side. So you're not going to get much better than that. And I'm sure as they, they go forward, every knife they change it up with. <clears throat> I've shot the, uh, the green and purple one before. I'm going to go ahead and throw it, throw it in here again just because it, it, the video just doesn't do this one justice. I can't believe that I still have this knife in stock. Um, it is a cool looking green and like I said when you turn that and the purples just pop on those high points the purples all around the edge of the pocket clip I didn't sand this area on this one you're just looking at the green with the purple pivot you've got a little bit of shading left uh, when I buffed it I didn't super bright buff it I took the uh, the stone wash off and just left a little bit of shade there and again, like I said, the video just does not do this thing justice. The purple, the way it plays with the shade and the light as you turn it, is just great. And of course, nice purple backspacer. And of course, we got to go purple green on the lanyard. So, great smooth flippers. Um, this one's action is just a, ta a hair a bit better than the other one, but they both flip fantastically. So you just can't go wrong. Um, they, Riat, or Riate is starting to do a couple collaborations. Um, this, this one, of course, is one of those collaborations. And they're coming out with some really neat stuff. I really like the collaboration that they did with the future as well. So, it'll be interesting to see what their new models look like. And I can't wait to be a part of getting those a little bit quicker and uh, being able to bring them to you guys. Because like I said, for the money, you just can't go wrong with these. Um, this one is a nice gold. Gold background. Blue hardware for the screws. Your inlay has a gold edge. And then it's been milled out in your checker pattern. I left the silver there with the blue high points to match the blue on the pocket clip and also the blue for your backspacer. Um, this one does have a little loop for a lanyard. Um, this little guy, I, it never felt right to me to put a lanyard on it, but you know me, I am a big fan of lanyards. If I was going to carry it, it would have a lanyard on it. But uh, right now, there's just so much going on with these little knives that uh, adding a lanyard to it is just one more step. Now, that being said, 
if you guys order one, you want one, I'll throw a lanyard on it at no cost, not a problem. Um, great little knives. This one has a nice titanium frame. The uh, onlay is screwed from the back side. You can see those screw ends right there. Um, everything screwed from the back side there. Um, same with your pocket clip. It's also screwed from the back side and it's milled out nicely. Have a little bit of fine milling there that matches the milling on the frame. And even the milling that's in that checkering. There's a slight bit of milling in the blue on the checkering. So very great little knives. Flip nice and smooth. Not a super heavy blade like the, like the Horizon D or the Fallouts. But I mean, the ceramic bearings that these things go on, just smooth as glass. I mean, these things just open every time perfectly. Doesn't take much weight on that flipper. And again, you're back into the M390 steel and their branding. They don't do a ton of extra branding. Not everything is plastered with their name. So it's kind of nice there as well. If you're looking for a good gentleman's knife, a knife that you can carry at work that's not going to draw a lot of attention while it's in your pocket because it's slim line and size-wise is good, this is, this is a very good choice. Um, so this is the golden blue. Then we're going to jump into, this is more of a teal. It's kind of a teal blue, almost into green. Um, what we did there is we left the gold edge around it. I left the light blue on the high points and I did a purple in the checker milling. So it matches the hardware which is purple. Then I went gold on the back spacer as well as the pocket clip uh, to tie in that gold edge really just a fantastic looking little knife this is a beautiful aqua or teal color looks great the gold matches it perfectly so very happy with this one again flips like a dream very nice little knife steel lock bar insert m390 steel um, I do need to tighten up this back screw just a little bit because I was in a hurry trying to get my videos ready and didn't quite tighten it up all the way. But of course that'll be set. Um, your onlay also acts as your, uh, your over travel to make sure that that lock bar doesn't travel too far. Centered up nicely. Locks in good, probably about 15-20%. Just a great looking little teal knife. And then we will uh, wrap it up tonight with this beautiful little purple and gold and blue. So we did the backspacer and the pocket clip gold again. We did the hardware this time, the screws gold. We've got that gold lip. I left the light blue and then went with a uh, dark blue to purple in the checkering. Um, these guys are just so nice. There's so many different textures and layers in this knife that you could add so much color and just make these things look so fantastic. Um, like I said, I'm a big knife guy. If I was going to carry a smaller knife, this is, a, this is a good medium sized knife. I wouldn't call it small because it's not really small. It's not exactly a, a ZT900 or even a 450 being all skinny. Um, this is a little bit more of a medium sized knife. It's a little smaller than I'd normally carry, but if I was gonna carry something in this size range, this would be a very good choice. Um, pull one of these out of your pocket and just look at the color pop on these things. The purple is so much more vibrant in person. Um, if you are a person that likes purple, I guarantee you that when you get this knife, it's gonna look a lot better than it does here in the video. Um, the pictures are pretty good on it. Um, the 
new camera I've got is doing a good job there. Just turns out fantastic. I love working on the on the Riati waves. Um, this one is 329 of 500. Um, so looks like they'll probably only make 500 of these and that'll be that. Um, I guarantee you that I will be ordering more of these just because there is just so much you can do with this knife. I've done greens, I've done blues, I've done golds, purples, teals, uh, bronze. I mean this is just a fantastic little knife. Can't go wrong here. So I'll go ahead and uh, wrap it up for tonight. Um, this will be the last video I'm doing tonight. I just finished up a ZT one a little while ago. Um, like I said, very excited about uh, some of the future prospects that we have here at JD Cutlery. Uh, we'll be moving in with the Loin Mao uh, design knives, again also made out of the Riot or Riate factory. Um, his stuff is fantastic as well. I just got uh, five of them in as well as uh, one of his uh, little spinners. <laughs> cool little spinners. All right, just a little guy, but uh, does a great job spinning. Really excited about all the new things that are coming. I do have uh, five of his design knives that uh, just arrived yesterday, and I will hopefully be getting a chance to work on this weekend. So thank you for tuning in. Again, if you're interested in any of these fantastic knives, check us out on the website. Shoot me an email. Uh, the website is www.jdcutlery.com, and I will see you guys on the next one.